Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In the last video, we had designed this social media share buttons for our website. And in this video, we will add the functionality to our website. So let's go to our code editor and let's add our JavaScript file over here. So let's create a new file called main.js. And we'll also add it to our index.html file just before the body ends. So script src and main.js. Now we are going to be changing the href value to the share URL of these social media sites using JavaScript. So first of all, we need to know what are the share URLs for these sites, Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. So for that, we will just search for social media share URL over here. And... Um, we can see a website called crunchify.com so just click on that and here we can see we have a list of share URLs over here so for Facebook we have this share URL over here and then for Twitter we have this then we have a number of share URLs so let's just copy these uh, URLs to our JavaScript file so just copy this Facebook one from here and uh, we we'll just create a comment and uh, we'll paste all our links over here. So this is for Facebook. And uh, then we also want this link for Twitter. And then we also need the link for LinkedIn. Alright, these are all the links we need. Now let's start writing our code. Now, first of all, we need to access all the share buttons here in JavaScript. So we'll give different classes to each of these share buttons. So for Facebook, we will give it a class of Facebook button. And for Twitter, we will give a class of Twitter button. And for LinkedIn, LinkedIn button. Alright, so now let's reference that over here in JavaScript. So we'll create a constant Facebook button and we'll set it to document dot query selector Facebook button and we'll just do that for all our buttons. So the next button is Twitter and then we have LinkedIn. Alright, so that's it with the buttons. Now let's create a function to change all the hrefs. So we'll create a function called init. And we'll call that right here. So let's change the href for the Facebook button. So we'll type Facebook button dot set attribute. And first we have to name the attribute over here. So we'll type href. And then we have to specify the value. So the value of our href should be this link over here. So we'll just copy this and uh, we'll paste it over here. And here we have to change this post URL to the current URL that we have for our web page. So for that, we'll create a variable over here. So let's type current URL. And to get the current URL of your web page, you can just type document.location dot href so this will give you the current url of your web page and we'll also wrap this inside a function so we'll just type encode uri so this will convert our url into the correct format and uh, now what we'll do is we'll change the post url from here and uh, we will change it to the current url so let me just change the double quotes to this back tick over here so that we can use variables in our text so after the equal sign just type dollar and in parentheses type the name of your variable so we'll type current url over here that's it with our facebook share url now let's change uh, the href for twitter so we'll just type set attribute and for the attribute we have href and for the value we have this URL over here so just copy this from here and we'll paste it right here 
Now I'll just remove the via and the hashtags from here so that it'll be a little simpler. All right, so we have the post URL and uh, the post title over here. So we need to create a variable for the post title. So let's type let and uh, we'll type current title. And uh, here we can type whatever title we want to have for the share links. So I'll just type something over here. So this is our title. Now let's add the post URL and title over here. So here we'll type dollar sign and uh, in parentheses we'll type current URL and uh, for the text we'll type dollar sign and current title. Now lastly let's change the SRF for the LinkedIn button. So we'll just copy the URL from here. And we'll replace this with the current URL. And uh, this with the current title. So that's it with our JavaScript. Now let's open our web page. And uh, take a look at the bottom of the screen when we hover over these icons. We can see the links over here. So we have links for Facebook and we have link for Twitter and LinkedIn as well. So let's click on one of these and here we can see we are on the share page of Twitter and uh, here we have the title and this is our URL over here and now the user can just log into their Twitter account and tweet this or if they are logged in then uh, they can directly go ahead and click on tweet. Alright that's it with the functionality now let's add this to our blogger website. So here I am in the blogger dashboard. Now let's go to theme and click on edit HTML. So first of all, let's copy the HTML. So we'll just copy this uh, share button division from here. And we can paste this anywhere in our uh, code. So I will just paste it just before the body ends. So we'll just search for the end of body. And let's paste our share buttons over here. Alright, now let's also copy the JavaScript and we'll paste it after uh, this code over here. So we'll just give a comment and uh, here we'll paste our JavaScript. Now lastly, we also need to copy our styles. So we'll just search for where our styles are placed. Alright, so we will paste our styles right here. Alright, that's it with our changes. Now let's click on save theme. So we have some error over here on line 4663. So let's see what is the error. And we have the error over here. So let's just delete this comment and save theme. Now we have the error on line 4675. So the problem here is that uh, we have this ampersand and in XML you have to type ampersand AMP semicolon over here. So we'll do the same for all the ampersands. So wherever you have the ampersand sign just replace it with ampersand AMP semicolon. So now just save the theme. Now we can see that the error is gone. So let's click on view blog. And one thing we forgot to add is the link for the font awesome icons. So let's go ahead and uh, get the link from HTML. So copy this from here and uh, we'll paste it just before the head tag ends. Alright now just click on save theme. And uh, let's refresh our page. And here we can see the icons and we also have the links over here. So let's go to one of these posts and let's click on one of these share icons and let's see whether we have this link displayed. So here we can see the title and here is the link of our post. So now the visitor can just log in and tweet. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, 
If you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.